agree with every word that the right honourable member has said. This is true. And it is not good enough to talk about our precious, precious union and to damage it. And it is not good enough to say that we will not truly leave the European Union unless we regain control over our laws, which the Prime Minister said in the Lancaster House Agreement, and then for us to arrive at a point where we are politically castrated precisely because for a number of years we will be put at the mercy of our competitors. That is the key issue. It's not just the, the, the question of sovereignty in its own right. It's the practical impact as a result of which we will end up by being put at the mercy of our competitors, for example, in relation to state aids. I, I, I think, Mr Speaker, it is important now for me to end my remarks because as far as I'm concerned, and I'm very glad I, I expect all that from the, this rabble across the road, <laughs> but that's, but that, that doesn't trouble me one bit. I have done my best, Mr Speaker, over many, many years to ensure the democracy and sovereignty of this House and I will never give way on that point. For me, this is a matter of principle. The record speaks for itself. I wish I could vote for this withdrawal agreement, but, but I have to say it comes, for me, down to a simple question of integrity and a matter of principle. And anyone who wants to question me on that matter can do so. But I say to them, I'm doing this for the best of intentions, as a matter of conscience, and as a matter of record. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Ian Blackford. Yeah.